What's going on everyone? Welcome to Real Estate Talk. My name is Zach. Uh, today I thought I'd do something a little different. I'm gonna take y'all along with me through the city, showing you guys what you can afford for certain price ranges. I'm gonna go through a wide range of houses starting at around 250,000, going all the way up to a multi-million dollar house. I'm gonna show you guys what you can buy here in South Louisiana. Let's go. All right, you guys, so we are headed to our very first house. Uh, it's a beautiful house. Hopefully when we pull up, we can take some good uh, video shots and get you guys to see what the outside of a $250,000 house looks like. Hey, Y'all, sorry I couldn't get nothing of the outside. They were doing some construction and some work. That's the joys of a new construction build. So I couldn't really get uh, any footage of the outside. So y'all look at this. This is a brand new construction out here on the outskirts of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, city called Gonzales. I mean, for 250000 you can get almost a brand new house. I think the, the exact listing price is like two fifty two dollars or something. I'll, I'll pop that on the screen right here for y'all. But I mean, check this out. For $250,000, you get a three bedroom, two bath, vinyl flooring, carpet in the bedrooms. I mean, this is brand new, a brand new construction build. It also has gas appliances, energy efficiency, it's smart home ready. I mean, for $250,000, this is a bargain and this is a steal. Whether you want this to be a first time home buyer house or you want to use this as an investment property, man, this is a huge deal. You can't miss out on something like this. All right, so we're here at this beautiful house. It's $350,000 here in uh, Prairieville, Louisiana, which is right outside of Baton Rouge. Uh, best school system probably in the state. Uh, a lot of people love moving here. It's inexpensive, taxes are cheap. So let's go ahead inside and see what $350,000 will get you in Louisiana. So for $350,000, this is definitely gonna be your typical home in Louisiana. It's gonna have good features, not gonna be too big, not gonna be too small, but just right for that first time home buyer, a starter home, or a potential investment property. You have a nice semi-open concept, where the kitchen is gonna be a good size. It's not gonna be small. Definitely gonna fit all of your needs for first time home buyers or even someone just potentially trying to upgrade from a smaller apartment. So houses like this are gonna be your typical three bedroom, two bathrooms. You're gonna have two bedrooms here leading right down the hallway to the master bedroom. You got your full bathroom in here and you step right into the master. Nice layout. Uh, we have a lot of these homes out here where all the bedrooms are kind of on one side. A lot of people love them out here. So you walk into the master bathroom, you got a his and her closet. So as I'm walking through this house, the first thing that comes to my mind, this will be a beautiful rental house. Three bedroom, two bathroom, perfect location. Also, first time home buyers would love this house. They would go crazy over this house. They could kind of make this house their own. They could do some upgrades, make it worth a little bit more money. But the biggest thing is the equity. The equity over time in this area is gonna be huge. So let me know what y'all think. Is this something y'all would pay $350,000 for? I know in other big markets, California, New York, you're gonna instantly say, absolutely. Man, that's so much money, so much bang for your buck. But why don't y'all tell me, leave a comment down below. Is this something you would be willing to pay $350,000 in the area you're at? Considering we just came from a house that was about $250,000, to me, this seems like an upgrade. But let's move on to that $500,000 house and see what you get with that. This is what a house should look like for half a million dollars. I mean, look at the detail on the floor. So y'all, I don't know about you, but for two, for five hundred something thousand dollars, this is what I need. Now, when I say this is an amazing laundry room, I'm not exaggerating. I mean, the detail and the thought to put a sink in a laundry room, whoever started that should be highly, highly praised. And then this is the best part of it all. You get to walk right in to the master closet. I mean, 
For all the women out there who, you know, just love functionality with laundry rooms and closets, even some of the men, this is exactly what you need. Huge master closet. into a half million dollar house, I want it to feel open. I want to feel like there's space. I can move around. I can entertain. I can do things without feeling so cramped and tight. What do you all think? Do you all think a kitchen should be super cramped? Do you all think a kitchen should be uh, where there's no space, nowhere to move around? I surely don't. All right, guys, so we're heading now to a house that's about $750,000. I'll put the exact price right here so you can see how much this is. I mean, just look at this neighborhood. It looks different. It feels different than anything else that you normally are used to seeing for a first time home buyer. I mean, just look at the front of this house that we're pulling up to. Y'all are looking to get something at $750,000 here in Baton Rouge. Let me show you what you're gonna get. As you can see, professional line of ovens, fridges, I mean, just Everything you could possibly think of in a house is going to be here. Custom cabinetry work. Cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. I mean, this house has it all. Premium, premium flooring. Island, custom color to accent perfectly with this house. Y'all wanna see what a beautiful master bedroom looks like? Take a look at this. I mean, you talk about beautiful. This is the definition of gorgeous. Now tell me, have y'all seen the master bathroom look this good? appreciate a big utility room tons of cabinets and counter space i mean just look at this who wouldn't want all this a closet inside a closet all right now let's head upstairs because this house gets better and better beautiful beautiful stairs going upstairs i mean look at the craftsmanship seven hundred fifty thousand dollars goes a long way in baton rouge as i'm walking up these stairs i just can't help but think how beautiful some of these houses are especially when you're talking about comparison to what you can buy for this price in other parts of the country it doesn't even compare for seven hundred fifty thousand dollars i want my house to look beautiful i don't want to have to come in and do a lot of work to it i just want to move in don't y'all agree Who wouldn't want to wake up every morning just to see this? I mean, how is this not a gorgeous view to have every single morning? Wraps around, beautiful porch. I mean, for 750, this is a steal, you guys. 
that as I'm walking through this house, I noticed this room right here. And I was like, okay, well, what's in here? <laughs> you guys are gonna be surprised at this. The builder took the time to paint this room a unique shade of green. Hopefully you all can catch that, it is beautiful. See, I love it when builders take the time to do little things, the little details that matter so much. What do you guys think? Is this a house that you pay $750,000 for? Let me know down in the comments. Now, I got a surprise for you guys. We're about to go visit a multi-million dollar listing here in Baton Rouge. Got a long story behind this house, but let me just tell y'all, this thing is amazing. Can't wait for y'all to see it. Let's go. So y'all are gonna love this house. This house is massive, right? It's got like five, six bedrooms. The master uh, suite is truly a suite. So I'm gonna walk you guys through this house. Uh, you guys are gonna fall in love with it. I, I don't know of too many other houses outside of, you know, maybe more expensive new homes that look better than this. Uh, this is what two and a half-ish million dollars here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana is gonna get you. So let's go inside and let's take a look. So as you can see, this house is gorgeous. I mean, just look at the interior of the home when you walk in. I mean, the vaulted ceilings, the open spaces. I mean, this, this easily in any other part of the country that is a big, you know, metropolitan area would easily be six, seven, eight, nine million dollars, maybe more. I mean, who wouldn't want to live in this big house. I mean, look at the kitchen. This kitchen is phenomenal. For all the women out there who are looking at this kitchen, tell me, is there anything better than a big kitchen with lots of storage space? Maybe outside of a big master bedroom with tons of closets? Well, let's go look at these closets because uh, you're gonna love them. I mean, look at how many closets they have. You know, I'm used to seeing, you know, a his and hers closet, but this has a his one, a his two, a hers one, a hers two, plus extra. I mean, the amount of space in this house is simply incredible. Why don't y'all let me know down in the comments below, what would y'all do with all this kind of space? What kind of accessories would you put into a closet like this? Would you want an island in your closet? So look, I'm sitting here, uh, just finished showing you guys all of these houses from as low as 250 up to multi-million dollar homes. So is there any house on here that kind of surprised you with the price? Was something too high? Was something too low according to you all? What do you think? In your neighborhood, in your city that you live in, why don't y'all tell me what some of these houses would actually go for in your neighborhood? Would they go for a lot more, a lot less, about the same? Have y'all learned anything today about the pricing of homes here in South Louisiana? I know I have, I was kind of surprised. Been doing this for a little while now, but I still am always kind of surprised when I walk into certain homes and I get to see how nice certain things are. I get to see what, I get to see the quality that uh, builders are putting into the houses nowadays. I know there's gonna be a lot of people that say they don't make them like they used to, but there's still a lot of good quality builders builders who take pride in their work and in what they do we got to see some new homes today that exactly that showed exactly that so uh tell me what y'all think about it do y'all like it do you, do you wish you had a new home do you prefer existing i'd like to hear from you all and see what you all think if you need some help on how to buy your very first home or just need some tips in general on how to buy 
you can go ahead and watch this video right here.